Welcome back everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. This time around I have a very special treat for you, I'm playing on the map Abandon, and uh, this is a capture the flag match. I haven't done a lot of objective games for you yet, and so I wanted to bring some objective for you right here. It's a great game, um, and, and Halo 4, there's a new feature, tell me what you think about it. Um, sometimes you'll jump into the middle of a game as opposed to starting at the beginning with everybody else. That's exactly what happens here. When I come into the game, we're already down 2-1. to one. Uh, Our opponents are well on their way to capturing uh, a third flag. So within about 20 seconds of my joining the game, we're down 3-1. to one. And the, uh, uh, that really doesn't sit very well with me, to be honest with you. I think it's pretty ridiculous to throw somebody into a game where they're down 3-1 to one before they even can get their bearings. Um, I, now, obviously, there's some advantages to this process, to throwing people in the middle. Um, you're not going to have to wait as long in lobbies because it's just going to—it's a little bit more efficient uh, matchmaking. And also, if people quit on your team, then it's going to backfill those people with, with new players. So I think those are definitely some upsides, but it's really pretty uh, frustrating to get tossed into a game where you're losing three to one uh, right right away. You know, I mean, I kind of would have rather just waited a couple extra seconds and got a, a new match. But anyway, nonetheless, as soon as I come into the game, uh, you know, things turn around and I'm able to really make an impact on our team, make an impact on the game. We come from behind and win. So. That's the story, uh, and I'm going to be giving you some of my signature tips and tricks here to help you improve your own Capture the Flag and objective games. But I do want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about uh, interjecting players into games that are already in progress. Let me know what you think. So I'm kind of uh, camping the, uh, <laughs> the flag here, and I get assassinated from behind. wasn't watching my radar. That's a really big no-no. But let me uh, throw out a couple uh, tidbits about Capture the Flag that you're going to need to know. Number one, you just pick up the flag automatically by touching it, okay? So if you don't intend to pick up the flag, don't go near it. Secondly, you cannot drop the flag unless you score it or die, okay? So this is kind of important because if you're playing as a team, you know, one person is designated as the flag runner and maybe you've got some power weapons like rockets or a shotgun or something like that. Um, but if you accidentally touch that flag, you can't drop it, and now your power weapons you're carrying are useless. All you've got is your little magnum pistol, and it's not going to be an effective way to play. So you need to keep in mind that you touch that flag, it's yours until you either score it or die. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, the other uh, strategy, you know, and this is this is something that most veteran players know and that veteran players do, is you want to wait till the area is cleared out, and then you just want to book it. And that's what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm going to hug the curves because I know guys are chasing me, so I'm really cutting the corners here and hugging the corners so that they can't shoot me. Because you see I'm getting shot from behind, but I slide over so that there is no line of sight as I'm being chased, right? And so I'm able to remove that line of sight. I'm going to come right up the lift. I'm going to beat somebody down who's chasing me. Uh, the flag melee is one shot kill, right? You beat them down with the flag, that's it. So. Um, that's very important to keep in mind as well. You'll see me do that several times throughout this game. Um, so I was able to level the score a little bit. We're now 3-2, to two, but I can see the other team is pushing very, very hard. So I'm going to sit back right now and try to defend our base, push these guys off our flag a little bit. And uh, once we've kind of cleared them down, we're going to go for a second capture. I get a, I get a flag carrier kill right there. And uh, so now we've kind of defended our base. Now we're going to make a push. And really, when you make a push, you want to wait until you've cleared the area out, like I was saying before. You don't want to just run in there and then try to get out of a bad situation. You want to try to clear as many people out as possible. And I see everybody was on my right, so I run to the left here. Um, I'm not going to make it quite as far as I did last time. Last time I went coast to coast uh, all by myself. This time my shields are down, so I figure I'm going to use the tree as cover. I'm just going to beat this guy down as he comes around. Unfortunately, his teammates catch up with me and uh, take me out. But... With some team support, we're able to run this flag all the way back for another score to tie the game. Um, so it's very, very important that you play together as a team. There's probably no more important playlist right now that you're going to need to use teamwork than in Capture the Flag. It's very, very critical that you work together, you use your headsets, you communicate, you make uh, pushes together, right? you got to push the flag together. you got to defend your base. You have to make a coordinated effort, right? And you see that we do that very, very well here. Um, now there's a little bit of glitch, so I'm just going to skip ahead about 10 seconds because it just glitches on me here. But we have capped that flag, so now we're up 3-3. Three to three. The, the game is tied. Notice the balance and power once I jumped in, huh? Right, guys? 
uh, Tudor comes in the game and come from behind. But um, the other thing to keep in mind is that there are five second respawns in Capture the Flag. In the other game types, there's instant respawn available, um, but not in Capture the Flag. You got to wait five seconds. Um, and because that's the case, that's why you want to make sure that you take all of your enemies out because while they're busy respawning, you're going to have five seconds to, uh, you know, carry that flag halfway across the map. So that's the idea. So now I have a friend of mine who's carrying the flag. He's going to go score it. And I'm just going to sit here because our flag is only a couple feet away from being captured. And I do not want it to be captured. So here you can see I'm playing a little bit of defense. But I'm not standing right on the flag. That's a very bad idea because you're going to be very exposed. Uh, they're going to be able to see you very easily. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of hanging back just away from the flag. And by using grenades and some cover, I'm able to continue to clear guys off the flag, push them back and prevent the capture there so that's a, that's a pretty big deal now I see I've got two of my buddies here who are protecting the flag my friend just capped uh, the flag on the backside in our base so I'm gonna go ahead and run the final flag back for the fifth score okay so you see we're all making a very coordinated effort um, one thing I will point out you know as I said earlier you do have this magnum pistol here it's a very very weak weapon you're much better off just spinning around and smacking these guys down with the flag like I do right here Right, that flag kill is very effective. Um, just make sure you don't miss. <laughs> so I see that there's a guy camping at the lift. I was using the radar, so I know he's going to be right there waiting for me. And I'm prepared. I smack him down for the win. So there's the victory. Um, let me know what you guys think, uh, you know, about, uh, you know, coming into the game uh, mid-game when it's already in progress. Uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Add the video to your favorites. Uh, Halo Reach Tutor signing out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.